Ayan. So last time we discussed about on-site optimization. So today we are going to discuss naman about on uh, off-site optimization. Okay. So kung kayo po ay nag-optimize uh, nag ng isang website, okay, these are the things you have to do. Okay. So on-site optimization, kailangan mo mag-index, mag-SEO title, mag-meta tags, mag-key phrase, mag-inbound, and outbound link tapos mga image attribute and at least 900 words sa ano mo sa sa page or web page ni ano ni client or ni nung website mo okay so kung meron si client ng mga siguro let's say for example 20 web pages no you you just have to keep uh, uh, doing the optimization no yung on site optimization then afterwards doon no pwede ka na mag off site optimization Okay. So let's say for example, uh, tapos na tayo mag uh, mag offsite uh, mag onsite optimization. So ang gagawin na natin ngayon is yung offsite optimization. So hindi matatapos yung trabaho mo, no, after mo mag onsite optimization. So kailangan mo paramihin ngayon yung traffic. Okay? Yung traffic na yun, it should be coming from different platform. Okay? Kasi si Google, no, he wants he wants to see more traffic or uh He wants to see more engagement doon sa, sa website mo. The more traffic na dinadala mo sa, sa website ni, ni client mo or ni, sa, sa website mo, okay, that's the chance na dadaling ka ngayon ni Google or ni search engine papunta sa pinaka first page. Okay, so kailangan natin mag offsite optimization. Okay, sa so, offsite optimization, no, we are doing email marketing. Okay, so when you're doing email marketing, ang ginagawa mo ngayon dyan is you have to create newsletters. Okay, so you have to send maybe a weekly uh, newsletter no, sa, sa database if you have uh, uh, a leads or meron ka ng uh, database ng mga, ng mga prospected na mga, ano mo, na mga customer audience. No? You, you can send uh, an email every once or twice a week. Okay, and then you can also do social media marketing no? or you can also uh, do yeah uh, social media marketing or sometimes you can also... Uh, call this uh, social media optimization or SMO. Okay. So we will discuss about uh, email marketing and then yung SM, SMM and then SMO. Okay. So we are going to bring traffic no, papunta sa, sa ibang platform, papunta sa website ni client or ng website mo. Okay. And then you have to uh, make uh, or you have to to run ads no sa so, sa so Google mismo sa uh, sa sa search engine okay so you can run ads uh, with with Google no it's called uh, PPC no or pay per click okay i will also discuss this sooner or later no so we will discuss about all right we will discuss about um pay per click no how to uh, create campaign how to um Uh, how to create or, or how to uh, put or choose uh, keywords no and how to uh, create uh, um, ad groups no so we will discuss that lahat dito sa PPC but for now no for us for us to able to uh, trace or to uh, um, for us to, to check no yung behavior ng website natin and and yung behavior ng mga audience natin no or yung behavior ng engagement ng website natin we have to install uh, what we call the google tools no itong mga tools na to it will help us to uh, to understand no kung ano pa yung mga um, kailangan nating improve sa ano sa sa website mo or sa website ni client no so nandiyan si google analytics okay So dito papakita ni Google Analytics lahat ng mga digits, lahat ng mga data, okay? Na kailangan mo para um, fit dun sa ano sa website na anong client for ng website mo. Okay? So we are, we are going to use uh, Google Analytics and then we are also going to use Google Search Console. Okay? Si Google Search Console naman, it will determine kung uh, ilan na ba yung engagement ng mga keywords mo, no? And then we are also going to use Google My Business. Okay, si Google My Business naman, it will also help uh, the citation ng ano ng ng website ni client or ng website mo. So sa Google uh, sa My Google Business, no, we will we will be posting uh, 
uh, more detailed information about the website. Okay, so these are the three uh, main tools that we are going to use. No? And then dito sa PPC naman, no, we are going to use here the, the platform called Google Ads. Okay, two years ago or three years ago, we called it before Google AdWords. Okay, so yeah. So after, I think, 2019, no, they changed into Google Ads na. Okay, so before we call it uh, Google AdWords. Okay. So for now, guys, we are going to discuss or we are going to talk about uh, installing this uh, tools. No? So dito tayo kukuha ng mga reportings no? every time we're going to do uh, SEO. So makikita natin dyan no? na kung ano yung mga pumapasok sa website natin. Ang ibig ko sabihin kung anong, uh, anong gender, anong location. No? So makikita natin dito lahat kay Google Analytics. Okay, tapos kay Google Search Console naman, mamomonitor natin kung uh, uh, if there's any error doon sa page natin or sa website. Okay, tapos si Google My Business naman, para siyang social media pero you just have to create uh, an account dito sa Google My Business para uh, to promote the, the the website no and also to to have a legitimacy uh, account. I mean, to have a legit parang it will confirm no the business no. When you uh, when you created this uh, tools, I mean, if you you sign up here, no, uh, that's the time Google will uh, check if yung ano yung yung business is legitimate, okay? So ang gagawin ni Google, uh, they will they will try to call the the <clears throat> phone number, no, and then they will also try to send a letter, no, if the location or the address of the the office or the shop is existing. So yun. I just have to create Google My Business, no. So for today, this for today's discussion, we are, we are going to discuss about Google Analytics and then Google Search Console, no, and My, my Business. Ang gagawin natin ngayon muna, okay, we are going to um uh, register yung ano natin yung website natin, okay. So mayroon ako na website dito, no, and yun yung yung gagawin na, gagawin natin ng ano ng uh, I mean, don't natin i-register yung, yung mga tools na to. Okay, so medyo mahaba pang discussion natin. We are also going to discuss about email marketing and then social media hanggang sa makarating tayo sa PPC. Okay, so yun. Uh, I think we can start, no? Um, so, ang gagawin mo lang, no? Okay, again guys, uh, I will really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. No? This is my, my channel, no? I hope marami pang mag, ano, mag, mag subscribe no? So I always post uh, some videos uh, every week, no? Okay? So, yeah. So uh, what we are going to do is... Sorry guys, ha? mukhang nalaglag kasi ako. Ha? I don't know why. Hindi pa lang kung ano nangyari. Nandito pa ba lahat? <laughs> Nalagtag ako kanina, sorry. Okay. Nag-restart siguro na yung ano namin. Yung um, router. Kaya nalaglag ako. Okay, so... yung ano ko eh, pati yung browser ko na wala eh. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, let me just check mo. Baka na. Naririnig ba ako? Can you, plus, can, can you please type yes kung naririnig ako, guys? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go back. Okay. 
again, uh, nawala tuloy ako. <laughs> so, we are going to do is, we are going to register, no? Uh, teka lang. May pumapasok pa kasi. Ayan. So, again, sorry, ah, nawala ako kanina. Medyo nag-choppy tsaka nalaglag ako. So, yun, reconnected na ulit. So, again, let's go back, guys. No? Uh, ang gagawin natin today, we are going to um, register dito sa, sa mga Google Tools na to. Okay, so medyo tricky yung pag yung pag pag ano dito, pag um pag apply, no? So medyo tricky pero meron akong isang in-upload na 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 video sa YouTube channel ko. You can also check that isang way para mas mapabilis yung yung pag ano niyo, pag upload niyo. Pero yung ituturo ko dito, medyo technical. So kaya if you want to check that that video, no, you just go to my ano. Kung nasa group pa, you can just check no doon sa sa pinos ni Miss Cherry. You can also check that. Um, that's the easiest way. No? Pero dito ituturo ko ngayon medyo technical para at least dalawang um, way yung alam yung uh, gawin para pag nag-install kayo ng mga ganito, you know the ano, yung manual. No? So first thing to do, we have to apply Google Analytics. No? Then afterwards, we are going to apply console, the Google Search Console and Google My Business. Okay, so to do that, no, gagawin natin, we have to type yung Google Analytics. Okay, Google Analytics. Okay, so search mo lang sa Google, tapos type mo lang Google Analytics, and then you have to click no, yung Google Analytics. Okay, pag pagpasok natin doon, I will explain everything to you. No? So Google Analytics, make sure na nakalagin kayo sa, ano, sa, sa Gmail nyo. Okay, yung Gmail, kailangan yung Gmail na yun, yun lang yung uh, gagamitin nyo sa, sa, Google, sa mga Google tools. Okay, like uh, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, um, uh ano pa ba Google uh, my business Google AdWords no yun lang dapat yung gagamitin yung ano uh, Gmail na yun you can also use your ano your your um personal email do but i suggest no make sure to, to use yung ano yung parang spare or yung parang uh, extra Gmail yun kasi in the future no if you are do, you're going to do this uh, kind of uh, uh career yung SEO no and then someone ask you to to mag optimize sa website nila and then you have to register everything sa isang account no afterwards no ng trabaho mo then i mean if if tapos na yung trabaho mo sa kanila after sabi natin after 1 year or 2 years no you have to give them all the infer, the all the access no especially sa mga ganitong tools kasi ang uh, itong tools na to they might use this again in the future no so Kaya I suggest always use uh, a dummy Gmail or maybe uh, a spare Gmail. No? Huwag niyong gamitin yung, ano, yung personal uh, email account. Okay? So, after uh, going here sa ano natin, uh, sa um, Google Analytics, no? you just have to click start measuring. No? Then, you can provide the, uh, the, the name. Okay? Yung, yung name mo. Okay? I'll put uh, as in sa kabayan. Since we are going to uh, link this website, no, I'll show you the, the website first. Okay. This is the website, asensokabayan.com. Okay. I-register natin ngayon si Asenso Kabayan into Google Analytics para matrack natin kung ilan ba yung pumapasok na, na user dito or ilang uh, visitor yung pumapasok every day. Okay. So this is the website. No? This is a dummy website okay. just to show you na kung paano gawin yung SEO. Okay. So I'll, I'll put a name Asenso Kabayan. Okay. You can also uh, unclick all this one if you want, no? If you don't want to receive any information or if you oh, sorry, this is a uh, Okay. So ito yung ano, ito yung mag-i-track ni Google at ni Google uh, Analytics. Okay. So Google Product and Services, benchmarking, technical support, account uh, specialist, blah blah blah. Just check everything, no? Then click next. Okay? And then yung property name, again, you can also put Asenso Kabayan, no? And then, yung reporting time zone, no? Since nasa, ano ako, nasa United Arab Emirates ako, I'll put United Arab Emirates. But if someone asks you to do a uh, this kind of a reporting, no? If, if your client is from UK or from US or Canada, Australia, just put the reporting time zone dun sa, sa country nila. Okay, you can also put Philippines, no? If you have your own uh, web, uh, blog site or website. Okay, but uh, for the meantime, I'm going to put uh, United Arab Emirates since nandito ako sa, ano, 
sa UAE. Okay? And then currency, um, let's put it in uh, dirhams. Okay? And then you can also check yung uh, advanced options. No, Nothing to uh, create here. Just click next. Okay, and then some information about the business. No, you can you can just uh, uh, randomly answer this. No, if you don't know anything about the business of your client. No, so since ito yung yung website na to, No, this is a blog site. No, so sa category I will just put um, entertainment. Siguro. let's look for entertainment, or you can also search for entertainment. Okay, or let's say uh, story. Okay, um, arts entertainment, no. Mm. Okay, I, I think this uh, online communities na lang siguro, or maybe news. Okay, so since this is a blog site, no, it will uh, cover any uh, topics on uh, overseas. No? So let's consider that as news, okay. And then uh, business size, no. Uh, you can also put small, no. If 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 it is very large, you can also choose your very large with five hundred employees. Okay, so since malit lang siya, I'll just uh, choose a small. Okay, and then all the way down, no. How do you intend to use Google Analytics? So pagpipili mo ngayon dito kung ano yung mga kailangan na na itrack mo sa ano sa Google Analytics. Okay, so sabi dito measure the engage engagement with my site or app. Okay, so I'll, I'll click this. Optimize my site or app experience. Um, okay. Measure data across multiple devices. Okay. Okay. Para makita natin yung mga devices na ginagamit ng mga visitor natin. No? If it is uh, uh, mobile or, or laptop. Okay. Optimize my advertising cost. Um, okay. Soon we will also optimize our... Uh, because we are going to run ano, uh, PPC, we have to uh, check no, the advertising cost. Okay. Increase my conversion. Uh, we are not into uh, yung website is hindi siya no hindi siya um, uh, e-commerce or online store so we don't need this no and measure content monetize monetization okay so in the future itong website na to it will be uh, monetized no under Google AdSense so I need to check also the the content monetization okay so para makita ko kung ilan yung pumapasok sa sa isang blog na to or sa isang page na to kung ilan yung uh, kinikita ng page na to so i will click this measure content monetization and analyze my online sales no we are not going we are not uh, this website is not into uh, e-commerce or online store so we don't need this measure app install okay so itong itong website this is not an app no it's web application but this is not iba yung web application sa mobile application so we will not check this no and measure lead generation okay we will also check this because we will uh, gather some uh, leads okay and then you can now click create okay and then ito lang yung laman yung ano eh, uh, parang terms and agreement no? just check that okay and then all the way down just check yung i accept and then click mo yung i accept and then yeah so it says here no so if you want to receive any uh, uh, newsletter from from Google, no, you can you can also uh, check all these uh, offers, no. So since ayaw ko makareceive ng sindamakmak na mga email kay kay Google, no, I'll just click save. Okay. So yun, may na tayong uh, Google Analytics, but hindi pa nagtatapos yan, no? So we have to link Google Analytics to your website. Okay, so next step, sabi dyan, you have to set up a data stream to collect, uh, to start collecting. Okay, so just choose the platform, no? So since we are uh, into web uh, website, no? We will click or we will choose in web. Okay, and then if you are uh, an, a mobile app uh, developer, you can also uh, choose this, yung Android app or iOS app. Okay, so since web website yung itatrack natin, okay, we have to uh, copy the, the link or yung URL ng website, yung pangalan ng website, no? So, it's www.asensokabayan.com. Okay? And then, stream name, I'll just put asensokabayan ulit. Okay? And then, just click create stream. Okay? So, hindi pa rin dyan nagtatapos, no? We have to add more, um, we have to add a piece of code, no? Dun sa website natin. So, 
uh, ang gagawin natin is we have to log in first no, dito sa, sa backend ng website natin. Okay, so para mali ni Google Analytics yung yung website or matrace niya yung, yung daloy ng traffic sa website mo, you have to put a piece of code papunta dun sa website mo. Okay, so to do that, no, we have to uh, log in dun sa ano natin sa backend ng website natin. Okay, ang uh, gagawin natin is we have to type as in, so kabayan wp-admin and then just click uh, or just press enter. Okay, so let me just log in no, sa ano namin, sa website. No? I'll just block the, the, the screen para hindi siya ma-expose. Okay. Ayan, so I'm already logged in sa ano namin, sa sa website namin. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito is we have to uh, get the piece of code here sa analytics papunta dito sa website natin. Okay, so to do that, no, all the way down, no, go to here sa tagging instructions, no, and then click mo lang yung uh, ito, global uh, site tag, no, and then you have to paste or you have to copy itong piece of code na to. Okay, so saan mo siya dadalhin? Sabi dito, copy the global site tag in the header, okay, or in the head ng ng website natin. So hanapin mo ngayon to uh, code na to. X HTML code tawag diyan. Okay? So to do that, no. All the way down here sa ano natin sa sa, sa back end ng website natin. Okay? All the way down, look for appearance and then team editor. Okay? Sa team editor, you have to look for the team header. Okay? So since yung code na yun is uh, for the for the header, no. So for sure nandoon siya sa ano sa team header. Okay? So sabi dito uh, uh, you want uh, sabi dito if you don't have any knowledge about CSS or PHP coding, you need to go back, no? But uh, if you really want to go ahead or uh, gusto mong pumasok talaga dito, no? Uh, you will sabi dito if you need to tweak more than uh, basta ang sabi lang diyan uh, kapag may nagalaw ka Okay, automatically masisira yung website mo. Okay, so since alam naman natin yung gagawin natin, no? I just click I understand, no? And then dito sa sa ano, sa right side, no, just look for the team header. Okay? So team files makita mo dito. Just look for the team header. Okay? So this is the team header. Okay? And then look for the code, no? Yung yung may greater than tapos head, or, sorry, less than tapos head, tapos greater than. So look for that, no? This is the the one, no? So you have to paste it over here, no? So pag nakuha mo na yung head, no? Just just uh, enter and then paste mo yung kinapi mo kanina. Okay? So ito yung script kanina. Ayan, piece of code from Google Analytics. Okay? And then afterwards, no? Wala ka nang ibang gagalawin. Just go all the way down and click update file. Okay? So sabi dyan, file edited successfully. So wala kang gagawin diyan no. Ipi-paste mo lang yung yung piece of code na yan no papunta dun sa ano sa ano natin team editor natin. So, tapos under team editor it will be team uh, header. Okay? And then para save just go back to dashboard no para hindi na natin ma magalaw yung code. Then go all the way down here. Okay? Okay. Close mo lang to. Okay? And then kunin mo lang yung measure yung measurement ID. Okay. Copy mo lang to. Okay, and then punta ka dito sa connected uh, connect a tag or connected tags. Okay? Paste mo lang yung uh, yung ID. Okay? Yung ID na yan nandito yan guys ha. Ito ito to. Measurement ID. Just copy that. Okay? And then go here, so connected site tags. And then paste mo lang dito. Okay? You can also put the nickname if you want, but it's optional. I just click connect. All right. So this is uh, connected already. Okay. So you will see here, no? Itong, itong ID na to. Okay. This is uh, connecting from your website papunta sa Google Analytics. Okay. So close mo lang yan. Okay. And then that's it. Okay. You can just close, close na to. Okay. And then, ayan. So no data received in past 48 hours. Okay. We will we will also see no if if yung ano yung ano natin yung Google Analytics is already uh, serving or uh, collecting information dun sa website natin okay so to do that no since nasa back end tayo 
ng, ng ano ng website natin I always do incognito kapag nag-check ako if uh, meron siyang ano na uh, details or meron na siya kung nag-start na siya mag ano mag mag-collect ng ng data. Okay, so I went to incognito tapos pinis ko lang yung website na yung website ko. Okay. So ayan. So hindi ako nakalagin na, hindi ako nakalagin sa back end. So normally parang pinapalabas ko dito na I am a normal visitor, no? So let's see if may lalabas doon sa ano natin sa sa Google Analytics natin. So I went to contact us page, no. Check natin kung lalabas din yung ano yung Google Analytics report na there's a, a visitor and uh, doon sa uh, contact us page. Okay, so let's go here sa home page. Okay. So here you will see, no, you will see some uh, reporting, no. So makita natin diyan ngayon, no, there's a user, okay, one user daw from United Arab Emirates. That means it's me. No, if you can also check, no, guys, the, the website, no. You can also check the website. Tingnan natin kung may kung may lumabas dito ng ibang country or visitor. Okay. Check nyo guys yung yung website. The website name is called asensokabayan.com. Tingnan natin kung lalabas dito yung mga visitor na. Yan. Okay. So this one that means ako yan. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let me just refresh. No? Okay, let me let, let me also try to visit sa ano, sa sa mobile ko if talagang ano siya uh, live yung re reporting niya. Okay, so so kabalay. Ayun, so I have four visitors now. And three of them is from Philippines. Ayan. So I, I believe uh, ito yung mga <laughs> nandito ngayon sa webinar. No? So yun, uh, we have three vi uh, four visitors including me no? and three visitors naman sa Philippines. Okay? So dito guys sa uh, Google Analytics, no? five. Ayan, five. Okay. Yung sa akin hindi pa nag-account. Okay. So let me just discuss everything here sa Google Analytics. Okay? So yeah, let me just refresh, no? So we have five visitors already, okay? Let me just discuss uh, yung Google Analytics. Ano ba yung gamit ni Google Analytics, okay? <coughs> let me check kung ilan yung nag-visit sa website natin, okay? Yeah, so six, seven, yeah. So, Two from United Arab Emirates and five from Philippines. Yung dalawang yan, ako yan. Okay, so you will see yung real-time, uh, ano dito, yung real-time visitors, no, if you have Google Analytics. No? So ma masasabi mo ngayon na yung, yung SEO mo or yung pag-optimize -pag mo ng website ni client is effective kapag mayroong pumapasok na mga user dito. Okay, yan yung uh, purpose nitong Google Analytics. Okay, so hindi lang yan. Marami pang ibang purpose si Google Analytics. So I will discuss it one by one. So dito you will see here, no? Starting from May 8. Okay, since uh, yung reporting niya started uh, for the last seven days. So sabi dito, uh, from May 8 until 14 yesterday, no? zero yung, ano, yung, um, zero yung visitor. Okay, since bago pa lang talaga kasi siya, so talagang zero yan. No? But if we come back after one week or two weeks or maybe siguro sabi na after one month, no, you will see some data here na talagang may pumapasok sa website, no? talagang may readers ka. Okay, so let me, let me just uh, log into another account okay, para makita niyo yung sinasabi ko. Okay, let me just uh, sign out here. No? Okay. Um, hold on guys. Ha? Pa, buksan ko lang yung, ano, yung, yung file para makita natin yung laman. Ano ba, para may, may example tayo. Okay.
again, if you want to see more, I mean, if you gusto mo makita yung yung ano, yung pinaka mabilis na na way para i-install yun, no? kung medyo nalito ka kanina, you can check my my YouTube channel, my YouTube sa sa video sa mga videos doon. You will see yung ano, yung um kung paano yung mas mabilis na way para ma-install yung Google Analytics sa sa website mo or, or I mean ma-link yung Google Analytics sa website mo. Okay, so Google Analytics. Okay. So, yeah. So I have a sample here, no? Actually, this is a uh, itong analytics na to. This is for my friend, no? So we'll make it as an example para makita niyo kung ano yung itsura kapag may laman na yung ano, yung Google Analytics. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. This is an example of uh, uh, Google Analytics na na-apply na siya after siguro this is uh, two months old kaya meron na siyang data na nag-gather. Okay? So, you will see here, no? For the last seven days though, no? You already gathered 21 users. No? Imagine. So, from May 8, okay? Meron na nag-visit sa website niya na five uh, users and then noong May 9, another five and then noong May 10, another five and also uh, uh, May 11, three only. No? Tapos yung pinakamalakas niya is yesterday which is uh, seven users. No? So you, you will see here, no? in total of seven days, no? it was uh, overall 21 users. Okay. So new users daw. So sa new user, you will see here no? kung ilan yung mga bagong user. Okay. The rest, they are the the uh, sila yung mga user na bumabalik-balik sa website niya. Okay? But yung 18 daw na yun, they are uh, unique or mga bagong visitors. Okay? And you will also see here yung average engagement time. Okay? So each daw they spent 2 minutes and 4 seconds dun sa sa website niya. Okay? So total revenue just ignore that, no? Because uh, uh, this is I think this is for the uh, yeah. He, okay. Ito yung reporting kanina. Di ba nag-check-check tayo kanina? No? I think he also uh, added yung ano, uh, revenue when someone purchases in, in his website. Okay. And then, the name of the website, by the way, it's called uh, modernobayani.com. Okay. Let's check if if uh, gumagana pa rin yung, ano, niya, yung website niya. modernobayani.com. Yeah, this is the website, no? So you will see some articles here, no? So when I visit the website, automatically, siguro we will see a uh, real-time report here, no? Medyo babad lang ako dito ng Santa Lake para makita natin yung reports. Okay. Yeah. So wala pa rin. Okay. Just refresh. Okay. okay. I think medyo mabaga. Ayun. So isang meron sa United Arab Emirates, which is ako. Tapos yung isa naman may nag-visit naman. Isa sa mga viewers natin today. Okay. So yan. You will see the the actual ano uh, visitor. Okay. So three. Ayan. Dumami. Okay. So yun. Um, you can also manipulate the days. No. If you want to see uh, a report uh, for the last 28 days, you can also choose from that. No, so bibigyan ka ng report no from um, April 18 until um, May 14 yesterday. So this is the total report no from uh, 59 users no comparing for uh, in the past 28 days no oh bado siya ng 64.5 percent. So siguro uh, Two months ago, no, he gathered more than uh, 59 users. So, yun yung reporting na to. Okay, and new uh, visitors, no, he gathered 55. Okay, then yung 59 na yan, they spent at least one minute to 35 seconds. Okay. Sabi niya, no, okay, let me just read some questions before ako mag-discuss na ng lahat ng nandito sa Google Analytics. No? I will discuss everything to you guys. Ano po yung YT, uh, ano, ano daw yung name ng YouTube at group? Thanks po. Um, pinakita ko na ng kanina. 
Um, sabi ni Dennis, kung pwede daw multiple websites sa isang Google Analytics. Yes, possible. You can also uh, um, apply another uh, tracking sa, sa Google Analytics in just one account and multiple websites. That's possible. But make sure that that account, no, it should be, uh, ikaw yung, isa lang yung owner. No, kasi pag once na hinihingi na sa iyo yung Google Analytics account no, tapos nakalagay dito sa ano sa account ko no, then it will be a problem kasi paano mo ma-extract yung anong yun yung yung account na yun out of your uh, Google Analytics Google Analytics account Sabi naman ni ano sabi ni um sabi ni Aldrin pwede daw gawin monetize coach tulad ng booking site namin po Um, as long as guys you have the con I, I mean as long as uh, yung yung ano nyo, yung 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 site nyo is already um, six six months old no? and you have a lot of contents already you can you can apply for monetization sabi ni Jason kung di daw transferable yung data sa Google Analytics I haven't tried yet pero you can also check no uh, I pero di ko pa talaga siya na try kung uh, pwede siyang i-transfer o hindi so yun Sabi ni Joy, kung pwede daw po gumawa ulit ng Google Analytics sa gamit ang ibang email address. Yes, pwede po yun. Okay? So, yun. Um, let's go back here. No? So, ito yung, yung dashboard. No? Ito yung homepage or yung dashboard kapag nakalagid ka sa, sa, ano, sa Google Analytics. No? When you go all the way down, no? you will see more information. No? Katulad dito, uh, where do you, uh, sabi dito, new user uh, by user medium. So, saan galing daw yung, ano mo, yung user mo? Okay? Sabi dito, referral, organic, or none. So, pag sinabi dito na referral, no? this means yung, yung website or yung, yung traffic, maybe it came from uh, uh, social media. Okay? So, maybe from uh, hindi lang social media, siguro uh, email or Um, siguro the traffic came from um, sabihin natin um, ano pa ba uh, basta hindi out, out of ano siya out of uh, uh, yung website mo okay when when say organic naman okay pag sinabing organic when someone look for uh, for a certain keyword no nag pop out yung ano yung website okay so that means yung yung ibang user dito or yung ibang visitor nakita nila yung ano yung website mo doon mismo sa sa search engine or sa Google. Okay? That's why sabi dito organic merong result na 6. Okay? And then done, siguro hindi niya hindi traceable yung ano, yung um yung kung saan galing si ano si visitor. Okay? So, yun, referral it might it might come from uh, uh, social media or email or some other platform. Okay? Then when you go all the way down here again, no, you will see here no, sa, sa, uh, what are your top campaigns. No? So you will see here the session, yung medium, no, organic, and none, and then yung referral. And sa katabi niyan, you will see here no, yung location ng mga, yung mga user mo. Okay, so you will see here, no, number one, yung United Arab Emirates. Number two, yung US, and then Philippines. And then merong naligaw ng mga taga-China. And then may UK, and then... Some of the ano uh, visitor is coming from Kuwait tapos isa galing sa Hong Kong. Okay, so you will see here no yung mga ayan, merong Australia, tapos merong Bolivia. Okay, may France, ayan. When when we click here no, view countries no, you will see more uh, specific countries kung saan galing yung mga visitor. Okay, so you will see here. No? I think you can spend more here. Okay, you can span uh, the rows. Let's make it 50. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah. So, yun. Uh, these are the, the ano, yung, yung kung saan galing yung mga visitors mo. Okay, this is the demo demographic details. Okay, let's go back sa home. Okay. So what else you can see here sa Google Analytics? Um, then you go all the way down. Um, oh yeah. So yung user activity, no? In the past seven days, no? Or in, in the first first day. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, May 14, ayan. So May 14, you have like already seven 
visitors no in the past in the past uh, seven days no you have 21 visitors and sa loob ng 31 uh, 30 days you have already 61 visitors no so here also you will you can also check here no yung user activity okay so makikita mo dito no yung mga uh, yung mga nag-remain sa ano yung user retention okay yung mga nag-remain doon sa website okay so uh, from uh, week zero no there's a lot of uh, user or engagement already sa website niya okay and then you will also see here sa pinakababa no anong page daw madalang yung visitors o saan page sila naglalan Okay, so basically home page we have here sa home page naka 44 siya no and then for the past ano to ah, for the past seven days no you will see here no yung yung ano yung reports no 44 visitors and sa Joven of PGT do nabasa ko to kanina seven no for the past uh, uh, seven days meron daw seven na ano na visitor and ayan avoid illegal recruiter six no we can also check more details for the past 28 days. Tingnan natin kung alin yung page yung malakas sa kanya. Okay, ayan. So for the past 28 days, you no, know, he gathered a uh, home page no 80% ah uh, 80 viewers. And then malakas din yung ito, yung avoid illegal recruiter, no. And then ano pa ba? You, you can also check more uh datas here, no, when you click this view pages and screens. Okay. Dito naman sa account, no, event count by event name, no. You will see more details. Okay. So page view niya, user engagement, yung session, kung kailan sila nag-start, tapos yung mga uh, first visitor, no, tapos yung mga nag-scroll. Okay. So eight lang yung nag-scroll, no. Siguro ang taas ng bounce rate nito. I haven't seen the bounce rate yet. Pero we will discuss that, no. I haven't seen the bounce rate yet. Okay. Uh what else? Okay, let's go here, no. Let's go here sa uh, real time, no. When we click real time dito sa left side sa panel, no, you will see here, no, yung reporting ng real time visitors, no. Ayan, no. So makikita mo ngayon kung anong bansa yung uh, yung mga nagbabasa or naka-join dun sa website or yung mga uh, pumasok sa website, ayan. No? So we have Philippines, no. And tingnan natin. So merong from Davao, no, and then Batangas. Quezon City, no? And then, Caloocan, and Angeles, Pampanga. Okay? So, nababasa ni Google ngayon, guys, no? kung nasaan kayo. Okay? Kasi yung mga visitor na yan, no? From Batangas, no? And Quezon City, Caloocan, and Angeles, and Davao, no? Nakikita kayo ngayon ni Google, no? Even dito sa, ano, sa Dubai, no? I mean, yung, yung visitor, kung, kung sino yung visitor na nandun sa website, no? Ayan, Dubai. Okay? So, yun yung real time na nakikita niya ngayon kung ano yung uh, kung saan bansa ngayon yung mga nagbabasa. Okay? You will also see here no kung ano yung malakas na device yung or, or anong device yung ginagamit ng mga ano ng mga visitor. So mapapansin niyo, okay, 71.4% no. And uh, 28.6%. So meaning to say uh, 7 out of 10 na nandito sa website ng ano ng modernungbayan.com, no. They are using uh, laptop. Okay? And then yung 2 out of 10 naman daw na visitor, no? They are using mobile. Okay? And then when you go all the way down here, no? You will see here, no? Yung um ayan, yung viewers, no? And then ano pa ba? Views by page title and screen name. Ayan. So makikita mo ngayon kung nasaan ngayon yung mga viewers, no? And what else? Um, I think that's it. No, let's go here. So acquisition. Okay. When I click acquisition, no, you can also see or you can also check. No, meron pa siya dito ng reporting, no, live reporting, no, for acquisition, no, kung ilan yung yung user, no, for the past seven days. So seventy nine yah and fifty five new users. Okay. So fifty nine users out of fifty nine, fifty five yung bago ng users. Okay. And then. Ayan, may grease dito. Check ko nga. Kasi na itong grease na nasa grease ngayon. Hmm. May, mayroon pumasok na taga-grease. 
Is it because someone is using VPN? Yeah. Let me know, guys, if someone is from Greece or if someone is using VPN. No, wala yung, yung, ayan. Let me check. Yan, wala naman dito. I think someone is using ano, uh, VPN. That's why lumabas yung Greece doon kanina. Anyway, let's go back. No? Uh, when you go here sa acquisition, no? You, you can also see this reporting dun sa homepage, no? So, yeah. And what else? Uh, engagement. Okay, you can also check. Yung overview na engagement, no? Some of the details here or some of the, ano uh, dito, um, uh, reportings. You can, you, you can also uh, see it sa, sa homepage, no? So, average engagement time, no? Nandun din yun sa, ano, sa, sa homepage, no? And then, you know, Okay, ito. Okay, there's nothing. Uh, uh, I mean, you can also use this information if you are going to optimize or you, you want to improve the website of your client or your website. You, know? you can gather more information, no? more data here. No? Let's say, for example, uh, your, your visitor no, is coming from Philippines. Then create an article that uh, relate more about Philippines. No? That's why nandito si Google Analytics para ma-analyze natin ngayon Ano ba yung kailangan natin i-promote or ano ba yung kailangan natin ipakita sa audience natin? Okay, so so from from uh, demographic itself, no. Kung asan yung mga viewers mo, no, if sabi natin nasa America lahat, then create a, a blog or create a, a content that will relate yung mga visitors or viewers mo with the topic na related dun sa sa US. Let's say for example, number one, create a content na English siya. Okay, number two naman, it should be related, uh, yung topic na yun, it should be related somewhere else dun sa US. Okay, and then what else? Uh, let's say for example naman yung visitors mo, yeah, we will going to base sa gender. Let's say for example, um, 90% of your visitor is uh, female. Then create a website or create or improve the website no, to promote more about uh, female. Now let's say for example, uh, let's discuss more about uh, feminine topics. Ganon. Kaya nandito ngayon si Google Analytics to discuss or to show you kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin na improvement sa website mo. Okay? For for you to to gather more engagement, okay? Nandiyan si Google Analytics para ibigyan ka ng ano ng data. Okay? Sa monetization naman, when you go to monetization, no? Um Ayan. So wala, zero kasi um uh, he haven't started uh uh, doing this uh, Google AdSense. So, wala tayong makakita dito. But if you are doing monetization with Google, no, you will see more uh, information here. Okay? Uh, so, e-commerce purchase, wala ka dito makakita kasi di naman uh, e-commerce yung website ni, ano eh, ni modernningbayani.com. Eh. So, wala ka makakita dyan. Okay? So, publisher ads, no? as in zero. Okay? So, retention naman, no? These are the the users which are which are coming back from from your website, no. So there's no data here, no. So let's go here sa ano sa demographics. No, so demographics you will see more information like kung anong yung kung anong um country sila galing, no. And then ayan, yung city, specific city kung san, san galing yung mga yung mga users na yon, no. And then yung gender, di pinakita dito yung gender. But one of my Google Analytics, uh, it shows uh, gender. Okay. And yung by interest, no? Okay. And then yung age, no? And then language, ayan, makita nyo. So sa, sa, sa language, no? You will see 54 users, they are using uh, English. Okay. And may Chinese na nakapasok. Okay. So let's go here. Okay, demographic details. Okay, if you want to mo see more specific details about demographic, no, you will see more details here. No, when you go around, no, you will see users, no, users, new users, engaged uh, sessions, no, engagement, okay, engagement rate. Okay, so ano pa ba na dito mga data? Yeah, event count, converse, uh, conversions, total revenue. Okay, so yeah. Yan yung makakita nyo sa demographics. Okay? And then, yung tech naman. 
Yeah. So I think this is more about the the system that the user are uh, using. So for example, like this, no. So there are people who are using Android, uh, Windows, and then iOS and Linux. Okay. So you will see here uh, the the data about uh, this uh, kind of. Uh, you will see here yung data na uh, kung ano yung ginagamit na system ng ng user. Okay. So more ang yung yung visitor niya is more on Android. So you have to make or you have to create the website na android friendly okay so ito yung ito yung purpose ni ano ni google analytics no to show you more information kung ano yung behavior ni uh, user or ni ni, ni uh, visitor okay so nakita mo diyan android mas mataas yung visitor then create a website no or improve the website na it shows dapat na uh, android android friendly yung website mo. Okay, so mas mababa yung Linux no? and it should also uh, you you will also see here no sa Windows no. Yung Windows daw is 14 users. So create a website no. It should be it should be a Windows friendly. Okay, pag sinabi ng Windows, Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 8, etc etc. Okay? And then ay, ayan, so web mobile no and yung web desktop. Okay, so mas marami talaga yung gumagamit ng mobile. So you have to uh, improve the website no when it comes to uh, mobile friendly okay so makikita mo na ngayon dito na mas marami yung ano yung gumagamit ng mobile then create a website or improve the the customer's website na maging ano siya uh, mobile friendly okay so ito yung purpose niya okay and then ano pa ba nandito okay analysis debug okay there's nothing uh, wala na diyan mga information and here sa admin no you can also see here no yung yung set up natin kanina yung uh, properties and yung account name okay ayan yung account settings you will see here no ayan and then yung properties natin kanina ayan okay so yung yung kaninang uh, ginawa natin no if you want to add more uh uh website no you can you can also still add more uh, uh accounts here okay so ito na yung inano natin kanina no so this is already connected. Okay. So what else? Um, yeah. Now we are going to install now the uh, uh, the Google Tools. What uh, the uh, yung Google Tools na ang, ang tawag is Google Search Console. Para sa naman yung Google Search Console. Okay. Yung Google Search Console, guys. No, you will uh, you will uh, you will check there sa Google Search Console kung Ano na ba yung ano ano na ba yung status nung nung page mo sa 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 search engine. Okay, you will also uh, get some information dun sa Google Search Console kung may error sa ano sa sa page mo or may mga dead pages. Okay, so to do that, no, you have to let me just uh, log out dito sa ano sa sa email niya. Okay, let me just uh, sign in yung kanina para we are still on the same page. Okay, so login ko lang yung ano yung Gmail na ginamit natin kanina. Okay. Okay. So, so ang gagawin mo lang, no? Ang gagawin mo lang kapag gusto mo mag uh, mag mag-register sa Google Search Console, you have to go to Google Search Console and then click mo lang yung Google Search Tool or Google Search Console Tool. Okay? So but before that no you have to uh, sign in first sa Gmail account mo. Okay, kung ano yung ginamit mo sa Google Analytics, you also have to use the same Gmail account sa Google Search Console. Okay, before ako mag-proceed no, I will just answer all questions no. So sabi ni ano, sabi ni um Sabi ni Dennis baka daw susunod home address na yung kukunin ni Google. <laughs> Guys, you, you will never know kung ano yung ginagawa ni Google sa inyo, no? Uh, even even naka naka uh, naka turn off yung GPS nyo, they they can still track you, no? Even naka naka switch off yan, they can still track you, no? That's why I recommend you guys, no? Panoorin niyo tong anong to. If you have Netflix account, no? Panoorin niyo tong yung video na to. This is a doc documentary, no? It's called uh, uh the social dilemma. Okay. This is how uh, uh, big companies like social media companies like uh, Facebook, 
uh, Google, how they track the, your information. No? If you have if you have a uh, uh, Netflix account, no, panoorin niyo mamaya to the social dilemma. No? They will they will explain to you guys how uh, naging harmful yung ano yung yung mga ganitong ano uh, platforms. No? So if you have time later, no, panoorin niyo the social dilemma, no? So let, after niyo mapanood, no? Uh, you can you can uninstall some application. Okay. That's why the reason uh, I sa, sa laptop ko no, mapapansin niyo guys, I always uh, uh tinatakpan ko yung yung camera ko. No? I also uh, I don't use my my ano my information sa Facebook. I don't apply or I don't upload pictures sa Facebook and I always hide from, in a different name. Tapos sa mga ano naman uh, basta hindi ako nagbibigay ng information more sa ano sa sa internet kaya yun uh, advice ko lang sa inyo guys to iwasan niyo yung pagbababad sa internet okay so yun um ay si Jackie nasa Greece wow nice then is yung Facebook ba coach meron ding ganyan you will never know guys Facebook and Instagram di this company i mean facebook and instagram they are already one company they are tracking your ano your information and your everything from you no they are tracking so yun lang panoorin niyo na lang yung the social uh, dilemma sabi ni Casey coach possible po ba uh, possible po ba na limited lang yung nakikita mo sa google analytics if shared lang ni client kasi nagtry ako mag-navigate pero yung nakikita ko limited lang unlike sa demo mo ngayon Um yeah it's it's possible no na uh, if you have a uh, let's say for example yung client yung binigyan ka ng access sa ano sa sa Google Analytics no and your your client wants to see uh, minimal information that's possible no you, you can uh, you can minimize all the information no, na ayo ipakita sa ibang tao or sa ibang yeah sa ibang tao sabi ni Wena, may ganyan din sa business suite coach press lang ba sila? Yung alin? Yung Google Analytics? Or yung, uh, do you mean yung, ano, yung sa business suite sa Facebook? Guys, yung, yung sa Google Analytics and yung sa Facebook, no? magkaiba sila. No? They are different platforms. So, but they are, they are showing the same, ano, they are showing the same information. No? Sabi ni Gwendolyn kung paano daw malalaman kung Android uh, paano malalaman na magiging Android or Windows friendly yung website na gagawin. Um, if nanood ka ng ano nung, nung WordPress bootcamp ko no, uh, yung Elementor na yon no, you, you can um, manipulate yung ano yung yung website na magiging ano siya, magiging uh, uh, mobile friendly. Okay? So you can use uh, yung Elementor na yon when you are doing uh, improvements sa sa website or sa WordPress, you can use uh, Elementor. That is the best ano uh, plugin na ginagamit ko kapag gusto kong gawing uh, mobile friendly yung ano yung website. Sabi ni Wena, Facebook page business suite nakikita ko kasi engagement din din ng ganyan din ba gagawin para mas maging known ang page. Uh, magkaiba po. Uh, iba yung yung process sa sa ano sa business suite sa Facebook. Iba din yung sa Google Analytics. Okay? So Again, they are different platforms. They have different ways how to uh, set up yung ano yung account mo doon. Okay? Sabi ni Nina that done watching po. Oh, yeah, nice. Tapos yung yun, yung Snowden panoorin niyo din yung Snowden. Maganda rin yung Snowden. Kaya I always uh, tinatakman ko yung camera nung nung ano ko kasi uh tayo vulnerable tayo sa mga ano eh, sa mga hackers we don't know if someone is looking at us right now so i always uh, tinatakpan ko talaga yung camera ng ng phone ko tapos ng ano ng 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 laptop ko so yes pa na yung snowden okay nasa netflix din yung snowden maganda rin yan bakit iwas sabi ni alan bakit daw iwasan ang pagbabawas sa internet ha i mean iwasan Iwa, uh, iwasan nyo yung pagbababad sa internet. Okay. 
Sabi ni, Nika, ni Camille Cleo, malalaman nyo kung bakit laging ignore-notify si Shopee at Lazada. Well, sila naman, meron silang tinatawag yung push notification. No? So, yun. Yeah, it's also connected kung bakit. Inexplain din dun sa, ano, sa, sa documentary na yun kung bakit nga ba gano'n na lang ka ano siya. No? Yung, mga, yung mga mobile app na yan. No? Kung bakit sila gano'n. Okay, sa algorithm daw, sabi ni Alan, Coach, may fifilapan ba ulit for the next session na late ako ng pasok? Uh, wala na, wala na. Wala nang fifilapan. I will just uh, email na lang ulit dun sa mga nag-fill up last time. No? They are like 73 uh, participants. So, I will just send it again then dun sa, ano, sa emails na yun. Sabi ni Camille, tapos kung ano yung pinag-uusapan nyo, bigla yun ang nasa list nila, pati sa Facebook. Correct. Sabi ni Wena daw, kasi daw mga online workers need ilagay kasi mga personal info minsan. Well guys, it's up to you, no? Kung safe ba yung platform na yun. We will not discuss more about that, no? So, yun, nasa sa inyo naman yan kung if you want to uh, kasi naman ano siya eh, parang double purpose naman yung online eh, kasi you can also uh, gain uh, uh, money when you are into uh, uh, online I mean, kung nasa online ka, di ba? If you are having a work from home job, no? Andiyan naman yung andiyan naman yung advantage ng nasa, palaging online So, yun um, Okay Um Let me go back here no, sa Google Search Console. So, sa Google Search Console, guys, no, again, you have to use the same Gmail account dun sa, sa ginawit mo sa Google Analytics. Pag gagawin natin ngayon, no, we are going to uh, go to Google Search Console and then click Start Now. Okay. Again, dun sa YouTube channel ko, guys, mayroong uh, pinakamadaling uh, way pa, paano makonect yung, yung Google Search Console tsaka yung, uh, yung Google Analytics. No? So, Just watch the the video there. It's only like 15, 15 minutes. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito ngayon is uh, medyo mano-mano lang. Parang manual uh, installation. So, to create a Google Search Console, no, you have to put your domain name here again. Tapos, after going to do, the, the domain name, you have to go to your uh, hosting provider and put all the, the... I mean, you have to put the piece of code na manggagaling dito sa Search Console. Okay, so... Let's start, no? So, once na nakala- nakapasok na kayo sa Google Search Console, you have to put the domain name. Okay? So, put the, the domain name. Okay? Sense of and then just click continue and kailangan i-verify yung site owner ng website. Okay? So, sabi dito, just sign into your uh, email, uh, your your hosting provider. Okay? For example, GoDaddy, Namecheap, Bluehost, uh, only domains, host gator, blah, 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 etc., etc. Okay, and then afterwards, you have to copy or you have to create a TXT record dun sa DNS configuration for Ascenso Kabayan, under Ascenso Kabayan uh, domain name. Okay, so you have to copy this, uh, itong piece of code na to, then you have to create a TXT record. Okay, so to do that, no, ang gagawin natin, we have to log in first dun sa uh, hosting provider. Okay, ang hosting provider dito is GoDaddy. So I have to go to GoDaddy. Okay. GoDaddy. Okay. And let me just log in. No? Let me just log into my uh, GoDaddy account. Okay, I'll just uh, post the, the screen para hindi ma-expose ulit yung, ano, yung data. Okay. So, ayan. Okay. Sabi ni Dennis, galing daw ng algorithm ng Google at Facebook, targeted ads na lumalabas ayon ayon sa ah, ayon sa kung ano hinahanap mo. Yes. The reason why they are collecting this kind of data, no? Kasi uh, yung data na to 
this is for us this is for for uh, advertiser and SEO specialist kailangan natin di, kailangan natin ng data data to para ma-target natin yung para mapalabas natin sa ano sa mga sa mga audience natin sa mga targeted audience natin yung ads natin okay so Facebook and Google they are making money out of uh, sa mga sa mga regular uh, audience no yung mga yung scroll lang ng scroll sa, sa Facebook no they are making money out of us no then yung what i mean na yung yung tayo we are the audience no parang sa TV lang naman eh if you are watching TV no automatically you are an audience they are displaying ads no every time may pinapanood ka no after siguro mga after the 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 episode you will see ads so, ganun din yung ginagawa niya ni Google at ni Facebook they are collecting audience para yung mga advertiser magran ng ad, ads sa kanila then they will earn money okay so they need this kind of information para uh, um kapag na, na na filter na natin yung information na kailangan natin okay yung mga audience na kailangan natin then that's the right time they will show those ads dun sa mga uh, potential na na customer okay so yun yun yung purpose nila no that's why hindi lahat ng free no hindi lahat ng free hindi lahat ng free may advantage no so paminsan may disadvantage din siya Okay, so hindi niyo hindi niyo lang alam kung ano yun, disadvantage, no? Ang disadvantage niya is they are collecting uh, uh, yung mga private uh, information. Okay. So nakikita nila 'yan. Okay, so always be careful kapag nasa online tayo. And if you are also doing uh, if you are also uh, having a ano um target kung may meron kang ginagawang uh, masama uh, through online, no? Iwasan na lang natin kasi talagang madali it matrace yan kahit gumamit ka pa ng kung ano nung mga mga tools no they can still uh, find you okay so let me just uh, um okay uh that's fine no no problem this is also recorded kaya um sa mga ano sa mga if you are having a bad connection no problem you will still see this uh, recording siguro mga after a couple of days i will upload this uh, sa youtube okay so nakalagay na ako ngayon sa ano sa um sa hosting provider ko so we have to look for the uh, for the dns server okay so gagawin natin ngayon is we have to go to the product the products okay so products na yan look for the uh, the domain name uh, domain domain name okay so domain name na yan no You have to look for the DNS. Okay, so I have two uh, domains here: no, insura.com and then in you uh, asensokabayan.com. Okay, so look for this uh, DNS server. No, just just go to your products. No, and then you will see these domains and then hosting. Okay, so bagay nyo lang is click mo lang yung DNS. Okay, and then all the way down, hanapin mo yung TXT record. Okay. So, TXT record. Okay. So, record was not found here. So, meron kasi akong ginawa eh, kaya hindi siya mahanap dito. So, I will just show you how to add uh, a TXT record. No? Let me just post this. Let's say, for example, let's just assume na may lumabas dito ang TXT record. Okay. Let me log in first dun sa isa kong ano, uh, DNA server. So habang naglalagin ako guys you can you can throw some questions no I will answer that later on. So 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 kabayan. Okay. Okay. Um Okay, so I'm here na. Okay. Ang ginawa ko kasi guys, yung yung DNS server ko, linipat ko sa ibang hosting. So kaya hindi siya nakita dito sa ano, sa sa GoDaddy. Since yung yung domain tsaka yung hosting dito ko binili, 
Pero yung DNS server ko, linipat ko sa ibang hosting para makalibre ako ng SSL certificate. Okay, so for example, pumasok kayo sa, go- sa hosting provider nyo, no? tapos may nakita kayong uh, D- uh, DNS or yung yung mga records, DNS servers. No? Ito kasi yung itsura ng ano eh, yung sa DNS uh, servers. No? You will see here some uh, uh, parang DNS management. no So, ang gagawin mo ngayon dito, you have to add a record. No? The same thing, no? kahit sa ano naman, kahit sa, sa GoDaddy, you, you will still see this kind of uh, DNS management. Ang sa akin lang, wala dito sa, sa GoDaddy kasi linipat ko sa ibang hosting. Okay, so don't don't get confused. no So when you log into your hosting provider, when you click DNS, you will see itong uh, DNS management. Okay, sa akin lang kasi naka-record yung, yung DNS sa ibang uh, hosting. Okay, but you will see the ano the domain and hosting under pa rin sa GoDaddy. Okay, so all you have to do sabi dito sa Google Analytics, uh, sorry, Google Search Console, you have to create a TXT record under DNS configuration with your uh, domain name. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, we have to add record. Okay, then yung type it should be TXT. Okay, look for TXT. Okay. TXT record. Okay, yung yung ano daw yung yung foot or yung yeah yung yung root daw okay, it should be at sign okay and the content should be ito some piece of code to na binibigay ni ano ni Google Search Console so paste mo lang yung ano yung yung link na yon dito sa ano sa sa content and then afterwards just click save okay again you have to create a txt type and then sa name it should be uh, at Okay, at sign. And then yung content should be coming from uh, sa search console. Okay? So pag added na siya dito, no? if, if it's already added, ang gagawin mo, you have to go back sa Google Search Console and then press mo daw yung verify. Ayan. Tapos check in for verification and then ownership verified. Okay? Then just click done. Okay? Antayin mo lang siya mag-load. No? Okay? Okay. Kila dapat pala ginawa ko is uh, nag-continue ako sa ano, sa property. But anyway, uh, you can still uh, go there sa sa dashboard no? by clicking here. Uh, then papasok siya ngayon sa uh, dashboard ng uh, Google Search Console. Okay? So just click start and then you will see uh, a dashboard no. Just yan. So makikita mo ngayon dito yung performance ng mga pages mo. Okay? So performance you will see here no. Okay, yung page diyan, tapos makita mo diyan yung mga your uh, error URL, no? Matatrack ngayon ni ano ni ni Google kapag mayroong uh, error dun sa page mo. So sasabihin niya sa iyo ngayon, mag-e-email siya na may nakita kaming uh, dead page, no? Be- uh, because of this Google search console. Okay? Tapos you can also uh, inspect yung ano, yung page mo. Okay? Tapos you can also see yung yung site map, no? And then, yeah, links. Okay, na pa ba? So wala pa, wala pa tayo dito magitang ano uh, data no? because this is a fresh account. So I think we we had to cook to go back after, siguro mga after uh, a week or a month para makita natin yung improvement ng website nato. Okay, so yun. Uh, there's nothing to ano no to explain here muna sa ano sa Google Search Console. Ang gagawin na lang natin no, we are we are going to come back after a week no. Ipapakita ko sa inyo ulit after uh, siguro pag nasa ano na tayo sa pinaka huling ban, ano na uh, session na lang para makita natin yung ano yung yung results dito. Okay, so yun, uh, we already installed uh, uh, Google Search Console and then Google Analytics. Now we have to uh, install naman yung tinatawag na Google My Business. Okay? So, type ko lang sa Google, Google My Business. Okay? And then, create, create ka lang na account, no? So, Google My Business, no? Dito naman, uh, we, we can confirm na yung ano natin, yung yung website natin is legitimate. Okay? By, uh, ang gagawin lang nila, they will send a, a let, letter, no? To confirm that yung, yung location is uh, talagang legit. And then, they will also call dun sa linagay mong mobile number or telephone number. Okay? So just sign in, no? 
Okay, yung, yung find a, uh, sabi dito, uh, find and manage your business. So, just type your your uh, website name. No? Senso ka ba yan? Okay, add to your business to Google. Okay. And then, just type yung pangalan ng, ng business mo. Okay. Category. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, entertainment. Okay, and then click next. No, you can also read the terms and condition. No, so I'm to do you want to add a location customer can visit to your uh, store? If you have a store, no, you can uh, choose yes. If you don't have, just click no. Or if, if you have an office, no, you can always uh, choose yes. So since walang office tong anong to, itong uh, uh, senso kabaya, no, we will just uh, skip this part. No, so I'll click no. Uh, or do you serve your customers? So this is optional. No? You can you can just click next. Okay. What is your target or what region is your business based in? Okay. So I'll, I'll put Philippines na lang. Okay. And then you have to uh, put a uh, contact number if you have. Okay. If wala, that's fine. No. And you have to put the uh, pangalan ng website. Okay. I'll go back to the website and then please ko lang dito. Okay, and then just click next. Okay. So, sabi dito, uh, what updates and recommendations for your business on Google? So, click mo lang yung yes. Okay. Para masendahan ng mga updates nila. No? Um, ayan. So, it's asking for a mailing address to verify. Okay. You can put your, I know, you can put your, uh, um, for example, kung may office ka, you can put the office, uh, ano dito, yung, yung address, no? then they will send a mail, no? verifying na talagang legitimate yung, ano, yung, yung store or yung, yung business nyo. Okay. So, if you don't have, just verify later. Okay. Okay. So, Yung business hours, no? If if uh twenty four seven running, then you can you can just click this like open lahat, no? and you can also add uh opening times, no? Let's say for example uh from anything you want, no? I'll just put uh no twenty four hours, no twenty four hours. Since this is a blog site, no, I'll just put twenty four hours. Okay. Okay, then just click next. You can also skip if you uh, if you didn't know the, the timings or schedule. Okay. And add messaging. For now, we don't need that. Okay, skip. Okay, you can also add the description of your business, no? And this is a... Uh, let's say this is a blog site. Okay. Or if, if wala kayo may isip, just skip na lang. No? Then you can also add a photo of your business. No? So since wala pa tayo, I'll just skip. Okay. Send. Claim your 2,000 free advertising credit. Okay. So susunod na dito yung, ano, yung, yung Google AdWords. Okay. So if you have a Google My Business account, no, they will they will uh, give you a free uh uh, 2,000 pesos credit. That means you can run your ads under Google AdWords or Google Ads. Okay. If you want to run your your uh, 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 business sa Google, uh, sa Google okay, they, they are giving you uh, 2,000 pesos for free. Okay. Pero, pero since uh, we are going to uh, uh, do this siguro sa end of the, the, the batch, no? I will just skip for the meantime. No? But this is legitimate, guys. I mean, this is legit na they are they are talagang nagbibigay sila ng ganitong uh, parang credit, free credit. I already claim like uh, 500 uh, dirham. It's around um, um, parang 6,000 to uh, 7,000 pesos. So because I, I've been running ads for, for four years, so si Google, they, they keep uh, giving me uh, ganitong credit. Okay, so this is legit though. Pero sometimes when you you register sa ano, sa Google Ads, sometimes walang ano, libre. <laughs> okay, so yun. I'll just uh, skip this part muna since hindi pa tayo dun sa Google Ads. But we will check no if we can claim this later on. Okay, so I'll just skip. skip 
Okay. And then just click continue. Okay. So dito, ang gagawin mo lang naman dito is you have to, uh, para ang gagawin, ang gagawin mo dito is you have to upload uh, more information about the, the business. No? You, you can post parang Facebook lang naman. You can post, no? Parang may, mayroon din siyang timeline, no? You can create post here, no? Tapos yung insights and information ng business mo. And then reviews, no? Yeah. So you can also get reviews. Okay. Pag, pag nag-register ka sa, ano, sa Google My Business, you can uh, gather reviews from from ano from from visitors no you can you can ask them to create a view, uh, reviews dun sa sa website namin under google okay then mga mga messages yung photos yung products etc etc okay so just uh gagawin mo lang dito mag-upload upload ka lang ng mga photos no yung mga parang uh, existing photos na pwede mong i-upload para facebook lang din Okay, tapos just uh, gather more information, no? post all information here sa Google My Business. Then afterwards, ask your customer to ask uh, uh, reviews. no. Just copy-paste the link, no? reviews, then send it to your customer. Na. Please leave a, a reviews for us. Okay, so the more reviews na makukuha mo, the more engagement na makakita yung ano. I mean... papalabas ni Google ngayon sa ano sa sa search engine na this business is operating from from this date until this date. Okay, tapos makita na yung mga reviews at kung ano-ano pa. Tapos location papakita niya na rin. Okay? So what else do we have to do? Um uh yun, uh, email marketing. So we are going to discuss email marketing, no? Siguro sa next session na lang natin. Okay? So today we already discuss about Google Analytics, Google Search Console. and uh, Google My Business. So, the next thing we have to discuss about the email marketing. No? This is very important no? kasi for the meantime, no, wala, tayong, wala tayong source of uh, uh, traffic. So, ang ginagawa namin, okay, ang ginagawa namin, we always send a, a newsletter no, to bring traffic from, from their email papunta sa website namin. So, yun ang ginagawa namin kapag tapos na kami mag-onsite optimist. Op on-site optimization. We are doing this uh, off-site optimization by sending emails or newsletter. And then, pag um, bakante ka na, no? pag bakante ka na sa, sa pag-email marketing mo, you can now do social media marketing. Okay? Pero yung pinakamaganda ditong uh, discussion, itong dalawang to. This one, I will teach you how to uh, do email marketing. Tapos, maybe I can also add uh, leads generation. No? Okay. So we will do email marketing. We are also going to do newsletter. I mean, we are going to create newsletter. Now, if you don't have any graphic uh, skills, now I will teach you how to do a newsletter without any designing skills. And then lead generation, no, I will just show you kung ano yung ibang strategy kung paano uh, ginagawa yung ano yung lead generation. And then social media and then PPC. Okay? So if you have any question, guys, please let me know. Okay? Para Um, bago tayo mag-end no? sabi dito ni ano <clears throat> sabi ni and online dilemma daw social dilemma Laila dilemma okay Sabi ni Dennis, kung kasama na daw yung Google AdSense sa Google Ads. Magkaiba po yung Google AdSense sa Google Ads. Okay, yung Google AdSense, if you want to uh, monetize your page or yung blog site mo, you can use Google AdSense. No? But ang, ang, ano dyan, ang system dyan, sa Google AdSense, Google will pay you. Okay? Sa Google Ads, you will pay Google para makapag-display ng ads sa Google. But if you are going to do Google AdSense, Google will pay you if you have a blog site. Okay? He will display or it will display an ad sa blog site mo. Kaya siya tinawag na Google AdSense. But yung Google Ads, okay, you have to pay Google para makapag-display ka ng ads sa Google mismo. Okay? Magkaiba yung dalawang yun. Ha? Um, sabi ni Wena, yung Google AdSense, dyan din po ba? Magkaiba po yun. Sabi ni Stella, coach, kung meron po na po ba kayong experience na optimize yung website pero hindi nag-top or hindi napunta sa first page. 
And if ganun po yung nangyari, how do you explain it to the client po? Curious lang ako. Well, ganito yan. Okay? First of all, before you you ano, you accept the 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 work or the job, always tell them yung organic result, it may come up to six months to eight months. Okay? Tell them honestly na yung, yung page nyo, pupunta yan sa second page or first page after six months to eight months. Ganun katagal yung organic uh, results. Okay? So, pag nakita mo na na nasa, uh, na siya, nasa third page or second page, okay, you have to keep doing off-site optimization. Okay? You have to pump more traffic papunta sa website ni client. Okay? So nangyari yan sa akin, nakita ko yung ano yung 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 web page ni ni client nasa third page sa second page. What I did, I improved more the website and then I keep uh, nag, parang binuhos ko pa yung ano yung yung I I uh, spend more time doing offsite optimization like sending emails tapos boosting more ads sa sa social media and then sa Google. And then I also gather some organic engagement sa social media, no? And then, ano pa ba? Basta, you just have to, uh, you just, you just have to uh, attract more traffic papunta sa website, okay? Kasi the more, the more traffic na pupunta sa website ni ni client mo or ni website mo, that's the time na mararecognize ni ni Google na this website is parang ano siya, ah, uh, uh, it deserves na maging masa mapunta sa first page, okay? As long as iwasan lang yung mga uh, bounce rate. Okay, yung bounce rate hindi ko napakita sa inyo pero yung bounce rate na yon no kung nakita niyo sa sa Google Analytics na mataas yung bounce rate right let's say for example 50% yung bounce rate you have to um, reduce that no from 50% gawin yung ano let's say uh, 30% okay much better kung magawa yung uh, 15% 10% okay so yan tanong doon paano namin ma-reduce yung bounce rate meron tayo dito tinatawag na uh, when you go here no sa sa Google type mo lang yung uh, website speed test okay so sa web, website speed test na yan no si Google they are also uh, offering this kind of uh, uh, tools no na you can check the website if it is uh, running uh, kung mabilis ba yung takbo ng website mo okay so pag clinic pag pinis mo yung website diyan okay then clinic mo yung analyze no it will analyze kung ano yung problema sa website ni client or nung, nung yung website mo. Then that's the time you will now improve the website. Okay, so when you paste the website here, tapos in-analyze mo siya, just wait for the results. No? You will see here no, the results. No? So si Asenzo Kabayan, when it's mobile, no, ang grade niya lang or ang score niya is from 0 to 49, which is bad. You have to improve more. These are the, the improvements na kailangan mong baguhin. Okay, so images it should be more uh, it should be lesser yung yung ano yung um yung size okay Elimin sabi dito eliminate render blocking resources no you have to uh, uh reduce yung mga javascript okay tapos yung proper size ng images you have to fix that and then yun you have to remove and use css okay if that means if you have any uh plugins na hindi naman ginagamit just delete that or uninstall it Okay, tapos minify CSS. Okay. Okay, tapos remove daw yung mga unused JavaScript. Okay. Ito lang ang tip ko sa inyo ha. If if you want to to uh, reduce the the bounce rate, no, you have to uh, iwasan yung mga ano, yung mga uh, yung mga yung website na like yung website na mayroong mga videos. Iwasan niyo yung mga ganun. And then iwasan niyo din yung mga transition no, sa mga website na for example, yung website na like this no i will show you one example because there are some ano, website na ang daming transition no yung mga effect effect okay hindi natin kailangan yun eh kasi pag once na maraming effects sa uh, sa website no that's the time na babagal yung website mag-load ang tendency niyan pag may nag-visit sa website ayan no nakita niyo yun kanina again i will refresh this no Itong, yung contact kasi yan. That's what we call transition. Iwasan nyo yung mga ganyang transition. Kasi ang tendency niyan, babagal talaga yung website. Babagal siya mag-load. Okay? So you can you can also check no uh, this uh, page na to, no, yung, uh, yung page uh, speed test or insight no to check kung ano yung pwede nyo uh, baguhin sa, sa website. 
Okay, this is the mobile view. You can also check the desktop view. Okay, makita mo yung yung score kung gaano siya ka uh, ka gaano siya kababa or kung ano ba yung score ng ano ng anong website. Okay? Just go to page speed uh, insights. Okay, or developers.google.com. Okay, let me just refresh. Okay. Ayan. So kanina 48 yung score niya sa ano sa sa mobile view. Tingnan naman natin sa sa desktop view. So since yung ano yung sa so based on sa Google Analytics nakita natin yung yung ano natin yung viewers natin mas mataas yung ano yung yung visitor when it comes to mobile. So we have to uh we have to improve yung mobile uh, friendly. I mean yung yung display kapag nagmo-mobile yung yung user. Okay, so this is the the score for the no, for the desktop view. No. So from 92 uh, for from 50 to 89, no. Pasok siya dito sa uh, let's say this is good, no. But when you hit 90 to 100, that means it's a uh, very good mabilis mag-load yung website mo. Okay. <coughs> so yun, mobile view, okay? The score niya is 48. Kapag desktop view naman, it's 87. Okay? So yan. Makita mo diyan yung mga improvement na kailangan mong gawin. Okay? What else? Sabi dito ni ano? <coughs> Excuse me. Sabi dito ni um Teka lang. Ah. Sabi ni Okay, nasagot ko na yung sagot yung question siguro ni Stella. Sabi ni Gladys, uh, oh nga po, curious din ako. Paano din yung sa payment nun? Same pa din kaya. Yung alin po, Miss Gladys? Can you please clarify or elaborate ko ano yung question mo para masagot natin? Sabi ni John Alexis, di ba yung issue boss kasi yung sa analytics kanina, UAE mo pinili country pero sa my business is Philippines. O nga, no? <laughs> I think it, there will be no problem, no? Ang ano lang naman, yung, yung reporting lang naman is UAE. So, yung business is located sa Philippines. So, it, it doesn't matter. No? You can still uh, uh, edit that, no? If you want to uh, switch to uh, UAE, you can still uh, uh, change that, no? So, yung sa UAE na nakita nyo kanina, it's just a reporting, no? So, it will display a report based on sa, ta sa time zone ng UAE. But yung business is located in Philippines. So that's fine. No problem. Sabi ni Dennis, kung nag-expire daw ba yung, ano, yung uh, um, ad credit, nag-expire po siya. Paminsan, it takes only, uh, siguro, ano, uh, after six months, it will expire. Okay? Sabi ni Cheryl, Kay client po ba hihingi ng, ng content for email marketing and newsletter? Uh, again guys, as you uh, pag ikaw ay SEO specialist no, you should you should have a team no. Hindi lang to pang ano pang one one man team. Okay? So kailangan kapag nag-SEO kayo, dalawa kayo or tatlo. So yung isa, it should be graphics no, into graphics. He, he should uh, learn how to to uh, uh, optimize an image no or reduce the size. And then he, he he should also know how to create newsletter, okay, para sa email marketing, okay. Tapos yung sa yung sa ano naman sa database, balan na kayo kung saan yung kuhunin. Or if you have a data uh, existing database na binigay sa yun client, you can use that, no. So content for email marketing, though, you can uh, you can create a content, no. Then ask your your client if if it is approved or if it is okay to send it to your database, then. You can you can use that the newsletter, no. So ang ako ginagawa ko if I'm doing newsletter or email marketing, before ako magsend sa database namin, I always ask my client to check kung okay ba tong isesend ko sa sa database niyo. If approved, then send magsesend na ako. Sabi ni Jason, kung saan daw belong yung landing pages? Actually, landing pages, guys. Um, it's just a single page, you know. So pag sinabing landing page, no, it belongs to Google AdWords. Google Ads, no. So you can you can uh, run an ads, okay, and directly uh, send your traffic dun sa landing page, okay. So you can create a uh, one single page, no. Then yung page na yun, it will uh, it will serve as a landing page. Tapos it will collect, uh, let's say for example, uh, leads, 
Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng landing page. No? So, when you run an ads, no? yung ads na yun, pag-clinic ng, ng user, automatically magla-land siya dun sa landing page. Yung landing page na yun, it will serve as uh, parang leads generation. Okay? So, dun mag, 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 ano, magla-land yung, ano, yung mga user. No? Pag nag-fill up sila, automatically, they will, you will collect uh, information. So, yun yung ang purpose ng landing page. Okay? Sabi ni Alan, ano the, alin po yung free? Lahat po free yung ginamit natin kanina. They are all free. Sabi ni John, Facebook ads po ba is same sa media buyer or iba yun? I'm not sure about media buyer. Hindi ko pa siya narinig. Sabi ni Dennis, yung offsite optimization, makakatulong din ba may improve yung organic search result? Yes. Makakat sobrang makakatulong po siya. Kaya nandyan si, ano, si, si offsite optimization kasi tutulungan niya ngayon yung, uh, yung page na yon magkaroon ng traffic. Okay? That's why we have two types of SEO, on-site optimization at yung offsite optimization. Sabi ni Jason, kung pag, may, pag mag-stay po yung visitor ng matagal sa website, bababa, bababa po ba yung bounce rate coach? Yes po, bababa, siya, bababa yung ano. Pero kasi iba yung calculation ng, ano, eh, ng bounce rate. Eh. So let's say for example, five visitors. No? Tapos yung isa doon, nagbabad ng siguro sabi natin mga five minutes. No? Still, it will compute ng, ang, ang bounce rate. It, Ika-compute niya ngayon yung, yung session doon sa limang taong yun. Tapos equivalent ng percentage kung ilan yung, ano, yung bounce rate. So parang let's say for example, 100% no, divide by 5. Parang ganun. Okay? Hindi siya magdidepende sa isang ano lang, sa isang visitor. Okay? Parang hindi-divide niya pa rin siya. What is bounce rate daw sabi ni, ni John Alexis? Yung bounce rate guys, uh, hindi ko sa inyo napakita yung bounce rate. Eh. Let me just show it to you. Okay, when you go to ano to Google Analytics no. You will see yung report na uh, bounce rate. Okay, you will see a report no na bounce rate. Ito. Okay. So here you will see here no, may bounce rate dito. So 40.45%. That means hindi siya uh, it should be lower no. If yung bounce rate is 50% pataas, it's a red flag na no. Kailangan mong ga uh, gawa ng na improvement yung website kasi uh 50% daw ng ng visitors mo, they are keep on bouncing sa sa ano, sa website mo. So alarming na siya kasi uh, pag mataas yung yung bounce rate mo, automatically mare-recognize ni Google yung ano, yung website mo na. This is not good for users, no. Kasi uh, yung yung website is maybe there are some problems na maybe sa pag-load, no. Matagal yung loading or maybe yung walang content, walang value yung content. So siguro yun yung reason kung bakit tumataas yung bounce rate. Okay? So kaya ang tendency no, ng gagawin ni, ni Google mo, it, uh, hindi ka ngayon niya i uh, dadalhin sa first page, no. Kasi you have a bad record when it comes to bounce rate. Okay, so makikita mo sa Google Analytics no, bounce rate. Okay, yun yung bounce rate. Okay. Sabi ni Gladys, uh, Sabi ni Gladys kung uh, hindi good na maraming videos ang isang website. Um let's say for example, uh, if if yung 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 videos na yon no it's not uploaded to any any platform no kung in a, if you have a, a video from your ano from your uh, computer tas i-upload mo sa sa website mo okay ang ang, ang tendency no, no it will uh, it will take a lot of uh, time para ma-reload yung yung page kasi mabigat yung mga videos eh unless yung yung videos na yon inimbed mo galing sa YouTube tapos pinis mo sa sa website mo. If ganoon yung ginawa mo, you're still good. Pero pag inupload mo yung video galing mismo sa computer mo, okay? Yun yung time na ano, na talagang babagal yung ano mo, yung website mo. Okay? Sabi ni Gladys, katugon lang po ng 
tanong ni Mrs. Stella, yung di phone optimized, same payment pa din ba ni client? What do you mean po? <laughs> yung di, pano, di po na optimized, same payment pa din ba ni client? Again guys, if you are going to do SEO, no, you have to tell the client kung um, kung ilang keywords yung mararank nyo or ilang pages yung mararank mo. Okay? Sabi natin you have uh, this kind of price, let's say $500, then you have you have you have a goal na irarank yung 10 pages na yon. So yung sa pages na yon, yung 10 yon, eventually kailangan mo siyang i-rank talaga. So hindi mo pwedeng sabihin kay client at the end of the day na sham lang yung na, na, na run ko eh sham lang yung na, na optimize kong ano page. Hindi possible yun kasi nasa kontrata niyo eh. You have to to run at least 10 pages. So hindi excuse yun na porket hindi mo na optimize yung ibang page no. Kasi you have depende kasi sa usapan case pang parang ano siya eh, uh, case to case uh, situation no. It depends na lang yung sa usapan niyo ng client niyo kung ilan ba yung i-run at yung ano keywords or pages. So, kung ano, kung ano yung usapan nyo, let's say for example, 10 pages yung i-optimize mo, then 10 pages lang. So, overall, yun yung babayaran ni, ano, ni client mo. Okay? So, isipin nyo na lang kung gano'ng katagal yung, ano, yung optimization. So, make sure na lang na you have commitment to your client. Okay? Sabi ni Casey, o oh, nga po, no, o oh, nga, paano if link yung YouTube videos each vlog? That's, that's okay, kasi naka-embed lang siya eh. So magra-run yung ano yung yung videos na yun, mag-play yung videos na yun under doon sa YouTube. So you're still fine. Hindi siya mag ano, hindi siya maglo-load matagal. Sabi ni Jason, sino po daw yung gusto makipag-partner for SEO? O yan, may nag-offer na ng ano. Um, okay. So this coming ano siguro guys ha, this coming uh, uh, next Friday next Saturday I, I will be discussing uh, email marketing no so sa email marketing we are going to create a uh, uh, a newsletter okay we are going to create a newsletter from uh, from Photoshop okay if you don't know how if you don't have any graphic uh, skills though I will also uh, teach you how to do a newsletter without any graphic skills. No, and then I, I'm going to introduce to you two types of email uh, email tools kung paano, paano mag, mag email marketing. So kung kung nagtataka kayo guys no, uh, we are sending emails last time like 1000 emails in just one click. So we don't send yung pa isa isa because it will take time talaga. But we are using uh, a tool para makapag send kami ng maraming email. Okay. Sabi ni Alan, if I'm planning to teach Amazon VA soon. Uh, actually, wala pa akong Amazon account but soon, sooner or later siguro mag-apply ako doon din. Pag, pag meron na akong experience, I will also teach you how to do it. Okay? Sabi ni Cheryl, if SEO will take 6 to 8 months, mas magaganda po ba if hourly rate or fixed rate yung charge po? Um, if I'm I'm the client, no, I will I will uh, uh, choose uh, yung fixed rate. Because alam ko lugi talaga kapag hourly yung oras yung babayaran mo. Kasi um, it will take a lot of time talaga eh. So, if I'm the client, I, I will suggest uh, na we will work on fixed rate lang. So, maybe monthly rates. Ganun yung ano namin. Okay. Even even I, I offer service for SEO with uh, monthly. Hindi ako nag-hourly. Nag I always uh, tell them that this will be uh, monthly. Okay? Anything else, guys? If you have any question, guys, bato nyo na nang iba to para Next time we will uh, for uh, so this coming for, uh, Saturday again. No, we will discuss more about uh, email marketing. Okay. Sabi ni Gladys kung Mailchimp pa yung gagamitin. Yes, Mailchimp yung gagamitin natin, and then yung tinatawag na um, Send Blaster. Okay. What else? Sabi ni Cheryl, when do yung discussion ng dropshipping? <laughs> Uh, tapusin po muna natin to no. Ang dami nang nagre sa akin ng dropshipping pero let's plan siguro pag medyo okay na ako I will I will plan kung kailan yung dropshipping. I'm not I'm doing dropshipping locally. I mean I'm not doing dropshipping like Lazada or Shopee. I am targeting uh, I'm I'm using or I'm use uh, I'm doing dropshipping on internationally. Hindi ako nagde-dropship sa sa Philippines. So 
let's talk. I, I mean, I will just make a post na lang no, after, uh, sa, sa group no, kung magkakaroon tayo ng dropshipping uh, webinar. Okay. Sabi ni, ano, how about Fluid SMTP coach? Maganda, maganda din ba yung gamit? I, I'm not pretty sure. Hindi ko pa siya nagamit. Pero I'm using MailChimp and then SendBluster. Okay. So, what else? Um, sino pa may tanong? Wala na. I think we can, we can, ano no, we can uh, close na yung ano. Okay. So, kung wala na tayong tanong, guys, or if you have more questions, no, you can also uh, post dun sa group. Okay. And then, Uh, I will upload this recording sa, sa YouTube channel ko. And then uh, if you have more questions, no, you can you can message me sa sa, sa Messenger, no. I will I will be answering those questions. Pero medyo late nga lang kasi hindi ako masyado nagbabawad sa Messenger. So um yun, uh, make sure pala guys na please guys subscribe kay sa YouTube channel ko. I will be uploading more videos to. Or maybe uh kung hindi ako magkaroon ng webinar, ano, webinar um uh, about dropshipping maybe i will just post yung yung webinar na yun, or yung yung uh yung topic na yun sa sa youtube channel ko na lang okay so yun uh thank you very much no for uh for attending uh, for today's uh, session no so again guys uh i hope to see you again this coming saturday kung nahiya kayo magtanong you can just pm me and you can also po, uh, post your questions sa group natin okay so thank you very much guys i hope to see you guys again this coming saturday take care guys and good night bye bye